Joining me now, John Ratcliffe, former director of national intelligence. Uh, John Ratcliffe, good to see you. Thank you for being here. You know, we'll uh, you, what goes through my mind is I think about John Kerry having discussions with uh, Javad Zarif, you know, smoothing things over so that this deal could be put back together um, is, is allegedly what was being discussed there. Um, this is a bit of a slap in the face, isn't it? Yeah, I think a starting point, Martha, is you know I, I want to give the Biden administration credit when they get it right mm -hmm. with respect to Iran, and I did that last week. I think that the response that they took against Iranian-backed militias in Syria was was yeah. appropriate, was a direct, proportionate response. But you got to give them credit so that you can have credibility when they when they get it wrong. And you know this whole Iranian nuclear discussion. Um, is wrong. Um, first of all, all of our Arab allies are against it. Israel's against it. But most importantly, as the person uh, that has seen more intelligence on Iran in the past year than anyone, I can tell you that our intelligence is against it. Iran is poorer, weaker, and less influential than they've been in two decades. And it's a result of the Trump policy of withdrawing from the JCPOA and in, uh, implementing sanctions that has really crippled uh, the Iranian um, economy. And as a result, what you have is a less influential Iran, and, and we have relative peace in the Middle East. These uh, peace agreements that have come in the past year are because Iran is uh, less influential. So I think the events of today is, if the, I hope that what the Biden administration does is take the gift that the Iranians yeah. are giving them, uh, walk away, say, look, we tried to reinstitute this. They said no, and, and, and leave it at that, because... Uh, to do otherwise, I think, would be to just pursue a political narrative, to try and um, go down this road of saying, uh, you know, uh, we were right and, and Trump was wrong, when, in fact, the, the intelligence is very clear that it's the other way around. They should just not uh, uh, snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, which is what would happen if they pursued this Iranian nuclear deal. That's a great point. I mean, it might be a bit of a, a you know, pushback, but it does give them an opportunity to say, hmm, let's take another look at this. Maybe we don't want to go back into this deal just yet, and it could buy them some very valuable time. Um, with regard to the border, you, you live in Texas. Here's the DHS secretary, newly minted Alejandro Mayorkas. Um, here's what he says about what's going on there. Do you believe that right now there is a crisis at the border? I think that the, uh, um, the answer is no. Uh, I think there is a challenge at the border that we are managing, and we have our resources dedicated to, to managing it. Do you see a crisis at the border? Well, whether you call it a crisis or not, the circumstances have changed. Well, here's what I think everyone has to concede is that six weeks ago, when Donald Trump was still president, there wasn't a crisis or an issue at all uh, at the border. What's changed is immediately upon Joe Biden becoming president was he advertised a different policy. And, and as a result, um, we now have an issue um, that hasn't existed for two years. Look, I, I know he ha uh, President Biden has a conversation with AMLO today, Andre Manuel Lopez Obrador. And, you know, hopefully they'll address this situation. But that that everyone remembers two years ago, Martha, that we had a crisis um, at the border at our border that ended when President Trump required that AMLO um, enforce his southern border and folks coming up from the Northern Triangle, El, El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. And as a result, that crisis went away. And it's only come back because, the, again, I hope this is not a situation where the Biden administration is just quick to want to say, Trump's immigration policies were cruel. We're going to do something different mm -hmm. when very clearly we can see that the effect of that is it's creating yeah. uh, a crisis at the southern border of my state. Okay. And a real quick answer. Is John Durham going to bring forth indictments? I don't know. Uh, you know, he'll have to issue a report, and when he does, I'll have a lot to say about that, Martha, <laughs> because um, a lot of what's in his report is going to be based on intelligence that, that I shared with him. What I can tell you is this. Last summer, John Durham, uh, Bill Barr, and myself all looked at that intelligence, and we all agreed that the FBI had a problem, that they didn't have a proper predicate uh, to open crossfire hurricanes. So the result of that and what's in his report, we'll see. But I'll comment on it uh, at whatever time his report comes out. All right. We'll have you back. We'll look forward to seeing you again, sir. You Thank bet. you very much. Thanks, Martha. Thanks John.